All right, all right, Family Black Power is the true power with General Sarah soon said he kicked back. Get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be heavy. That's right, family. Ring the alarm. KingSeti.com online marketplace. That's right. Official General Sarah soon said he DVD lecture, presentations, t-shirts, and hoodie for the king and the queen, African and comedic jewelry, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, men's cuff, you know, uh, medallions from West Africa, East Africa, Nile Valley, of course, you know what I'm saying, Benin. We got holistic tonics and remedies, or organic immunity booster with the uh, the seed moss. We got the holy oil, black seed oil, living bitter. We already know the miraculous uh, benefit of black seed if you don't look it up. Uh, home decor for the family, accessories for every room in the house, living room, dining room, kitchen, a bathroom. We got you. Visit kingsetty.com and, and enjoy yourself. Class is now in session. Generalsetty.com, SETI University, over 900 video presentations, too raw for YouTube. SETI with the master teachers, Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, Ivan Van. Uh, well, I, I didn't, I didn't teach, uh, I didn't uh, walk with Ivan Van Serdema, but I studied under Ivan Van Serdema. Dr. Colin Muhammad, Walter Williams. You see what I'm saying? Freemasonry exposed. Egypt, ancient Egypt, Ethiopia, India, Omex, occult science, which we're dealing with tonight, all debates, and I'm hoping to get back in the ring real soon and knock some niggas out. All world religion, video and radio interviews, highlight from over 50 cities, ancient civilization and mythology, black power politics and economics, the complete General Saul Rasun Seti website. Get your ass in class. That's right, family. General Seti popping on Patreon. BPC making noise, we never come. That's right. Exclusive live streams, too hot to handle on YouTube. Just dropped a ton of videos on my Patreon. You need to get on over there and enjoy them gems and jewels that's sitting up in that treasure chest on General City Patreon because it ain't nothing but fire. Just dropped the synagogue of Saturn, the Sabbat of Satan is the time of Saturnalia. And of course, so I'm waking the family up why their eyes is open to what is really going on out here. General, make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channel, General Seti, King Seti, Sara Soon Seti. Rock that notification bell. Get a video, a thumbs up. Like it because you love it. Share it with your family and friends and comment, comment, comment. Tell me how you feel. Just be respectful because I will ban your ass. You'll get banned, nigga. Quick. All right, let's do some work today. We do work all the time. Let's do some work. All right, let's do some work. Man, it's crazy that these people, man, will be coming out these people mob, man. They don't got no fear of shit. You know, when you when you in control like that, and you just ain't got no fear of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how they, you know, that's how they feel. Man. They feel like they, you know, these, these people, man, they're worshiping all these gods and shit. They don't feel like, man, they, they got their, they, you know, they ain't got the answer to no goddamn body, man. Straight up. All right. We in the house. We in the house. All right. The Talmud and Kabbalah, holy books of Saturn, Sat, uh, Saturnism. Okay, now when we start getting off into this wicked, wicked, you know, the wicked, wicked characteristics, 
of Saturn and Pan. You see, wicked. You know, Kronos, wicked. You see, you got to understand that the books that them motherfuckers you that they have out on the open, you know, in the open for you to, you know, you can get them on, you see them on the, you know, you know, out there on the coffee table and shit. Them ain't the books that they, you know, they be re reading behind the scenes. You know, they consider it against Jew Jewish law for so-called goyim, you know, and that's anybody that's not a Jew, to even have access to their book. Too late. Because it's the information age. And this shit is out there. Now, these are some of the books. You know, now, remember, I was telling you, people know me, I was saying I was into the occult long time ago, you know? You know, my, you know, my, my uncle Rashid, he, you know, he had books, you know, and he had this book, the six and seven books of Moses, but he had that all. And I, and I, I inherited that book. You know, I seen the book on the uh, internet uh, today. They want fucking 300 fucking dollars for that book, you know, that I got a lot of my books and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got them original ones, you know what I'm saying? And so they, you know, I seen somebody, I said, God damn, they're selling that for $300. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't but this, you know, little thin, you know, but it's one of the original uh, prints. So when you start talking about the holy book of Saturn, of Saturnism, you see, you're talking about the Kabbalah and you're talking about the Talmud. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, and when you get, you know, when you, when you talk about, Saturn, you talking about again, uh, to total, total, ter total, total, totalitarianism. You see what I'm saying? Well, you know, they rule in totality. They don't share no goddamn, uh, uh, power. And anytime you, uh, you attempt, you see, when you say draconian, excessively and harsh, excessively harsh and severe. That's what it means. Excessively harsh and severe. You see? And so that's Saturn. That's all that it is. You know what I'm saying? And so when you talk about a man that it, uh, uh, castrate his own father, eat his goddamn children, you see, that's excessive. That's excessive, harsh and severe. You understand what I'm saying? It's all of that. You see? And so now when you start talking about the books that, you know, that captivate that type of energy, you know, you start getting off into that Kabbalah where they're calling on all these demons and shit. They call on, you know, they, they practice the demonic uh, uh, conjuring. You see what I'm saying? We must be clear about that. You know, Solomon was said to have a ring where he could conjure 72 demons. So, you know, anybody that do that is into demonology. When you conjuring demons, you're into demonology. So uh, one of the aspects of Kabbalah is demonology. Want to be clear about that. Okay? And so right here you see the seventh and, uh, and uh, sixth and seventh books of Moses. Now, when I seen this and shit, I never, when I seen this on my uncle uh, in his library, I say the seventh and sixth and seventh books of Moses. I ain't never seen no shit like that. I said, well, goddamn, why it ain't in the Bible? You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking in my mind. I said, well, damn, if you got them on the, why they ain't put them in the Bible? You know what I'm saying? The mystery of all the mysteries. See? The citation on all spirits. The spirit in the burning bush, helmet of Moses and Aaron, healing by amulets. You see? The wonderful, magical, and spirit arts. Of Moses and Aaron and all, and then and you gotta put Solomon in there too. And the old wise Hebrew taken from the Mosaic books, listen, of the Kabbalah and the Talmud for the good of mankind. See, they gonna slip that in, it ain't no goddamn well. The Talmud don't be looking out for no mankind. You understand? They only look out for their own. You see? And so you come down, real old Mosaic books. Of the Talmud and Kabbalah. It said this rare and wonderful book translated under personal supervision into the English language, published for the first time with exact copies of over 125 seals, 
signs, emblems used by Moses, Aaron, Israelites, Egyptians in their astounding magical and, uh, and other arts, including the period of time covered by the Old and New Testaments. This wonderful translation is of great importance of the, to the student of occultism. The extracts from the old and rare mosaic books of the Talmud and Kabbalah are invaluable. The book contains 125 illustrations, which are exact copies of the stone tablets used by the Israelites and Egyptians to accomplish their design for good and evil and are separate, uh, separately explained, okay? This book has, it has become very rare, enormous, enormous, enormously popular and formerly sold for five dollars so this is showing you when they put this shit out you know what i'm saying this was still translated from the german original word for word according to the old ancient writings and famous manuscripts of the hebrews you see and so even when you get off in you know into that which i'm gonna open it up you know you're talking about uh alex the crop you see you got old Alex de Crowley, and he actually wrote a Kabbalah. I believe he had one right there. He got a Kabbalah. The Kabbalah of it. So, you know, he was the beast. You see, that was what his mama, I, don't, I believe his mama called him the beast. You see, when your motherfucking mama called you the beast, God damn. You know, you was the beast. Ain't no goddamn doubt about it. And so, and so the Kabbalah of Alex de Crowley, the Gamont, uh, the Gamatria, the Libra 777, Sephir, Sarah Rock, Sephir, Sarah And so he got his own Kabbalah. And so anytime, you, and you already know Alice the Crowley is into pure, and he got his, uh, he also, in the crazy ass shit as I looked it up, he got his right of Saturn. He got his right of Saturn. It's in there. The right, uh, you know, and I'll get off because, you know, I got the dig into it a deeper. You see what I'm saying? So he got his he got his Kabbalah, he got his right of Saturn. So, you know, he was also into that practice. You know what I'm saying? They say that Saturn is the god of the occult. You see? That he is the god of the occult. Let me bring this up. And so, if you know Alice the Crowley messing with it, you already know it's demonic. You know, you already know it's demonic. You know what I'm saying? Because that man was sick. You know what I'm saying? He he was so sick that Mussolini, you know, uh, put him out of, of Italy, Italy. And Mussolini was a sick motherfucker. So, you know, and so, now when you start, show, you know, the, the medallions, it was crazy. And I was studying, and I was looking up, and you see, Right here, you you know they saying that on one instance that this is uh you know that this is uh Solomon, and then on another one they say El Sh Shahadi. You see what I'm saying, and you see that they got the horns there, you know. But it looked much like you know uh you know the depiction of of Moses. It'll come in, and that's uh the depiction of Moses uh in uh the uh. St. Uh, Peter's Basilica. And that particular statue was created by Michelangelo. You see what I'm saying? And so you see over there, you see him, you put him aside by pan, you see what it is. So when we say that, you know, they're into the worship, and like I say, Saturn and Pan is like St. Uh, 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 Santa Claus and Krampus, Jesus and, and, and Lucifer. You see, they go hand in hand, but both of them, Saturn and Pan, is sick. You know, you know, Saturn is the the more, you know, the primordial, and Pan is also there. He's also a primordial. You see what I'm saying? But uh, Pan is more of the, the deviant, lewd, cruel, sexual nature of Saturn. And, you know, and, and, and Saturn is more of the uh, the powers, you know, the control aspect. You know what I'm saying? The throne, you know, the rulership. You know what I'm saying? And so you see, you know, now 
I got to look this up, but it's right there, the devil and where, and I heard of this before, where they make sacrifices to Satan. I say, damn, you know, and, and listen, family, when I say that they do it, they they do it, they admit to it. But the reason, you know, there's a reason why they say they do. They say the doctrine of rabbinic Kabbalah, Israel must make sacrifices to Satan, which is Saturn so that he will leave Israel unmolested. And now if you want the reference, you can go to Zohar 2, uh, verse 33a, and it'll lead, it, it'll lead you right to it. You see, now this is what they say, the evil impulse is good. And without the evil impulse, Israel cannot prevail in the world. That's number two, Zohar 1, uh, uh, chapter 1, uh, verse 61a. The evil impulse is good. And without the evil impulse, Israel cannot prevail in the world. Okay? And so anything that they say, you know, if, if, if it's to bring about power through evil, it's good. Because it is ordained by God that the Jews should rule the world. So if they got an evil impulse that will help bring about power, it's good. You see? So you got to understand what you're dealing with. Israel makes sacrifices to Satan so that he will leave Israel unmolested. Look it up. Look it up. You see? And so you see right here, the seal, the lesser key of Solomon, the go, the goatee, the book of evil spirits. You see what I'm saying? And all of the sigils and signs in there of all the demons and shit, you know, that, and, 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 and the thing is, when I opened this book right here, because, see, I had been studying, you know, a cult, but I wasn't that deep. I was reading more like encyclopedias where it was given more information than actual rituals. But I knew enough that when I opened it up and I seen all them sigils and all that shit, I knew then. I said, you know what? I'm not fucking with this. I wouldn't even read the shit that was in. I looked at it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, when the first thing I did, you know, because I knew something, you know, from the other book. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, when I was studying, you know, they would give out certain names of demons like Isaiah and, you know, Beelzebub and, you know, and I seen in the sigils, you know what I'm saying? They had demonic names in there. And then, you know, you conjuring and shit. I say, what the fuck is this? I say, damn, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm about 17 and shit. I'm thinking to myself like, Damn, Moses is conjuring Beelzebub and all this shit. And so when I seen the demon name, I wouldn't even speak. I, I didn't even, I didn't even really want to read the shit. You know, you know, I would look in just a very, and then you, I kept the, you know, I keep the book for reference material, but I, I ain't go in it. You know, only time I go in it is like now when I had to show family that this is what they into. You see, they even sacrifice to Satan. You feel me? And they give a reason why, so that he would leave Israel unmolested. You see? And so, you know, and so Solomon, again, was, you know, he, he had all the, even in Islam, you know, it, it, it speaks to that. You know? You know, it speaks to that. Now, another thing that I knew that, you know, I say is this, this, this thing that they call the blood libel. You see, the blood libel, uh, the Saturnian uh, chrono sacrifice. Now, if you look up the blood libel, you might find it on YouTube. And so what it, what it is, you know, and what they say it is, is that during medieval Europe, and they, I don't, and a lot of people say, you know, and I'll leave it in my and you can take it because they might get upset. Where they would take a Christian child 
and they would drain the, the especially around Passover and Hanukkah. Because you know, I was watching documentaries, they say you better watch your children around Passover and Hanukkah. This is what they say. You know what I'm saying? Because you know it have to be a Christian child. You see, it have to be a Christian child, and they bleed the child. You know, and they take the blood and they mix it with the bread, the unleavened bread. You understand what I'm saying? And shit like that on on, on the holiday. And so when you think of the chronos, you see it, how he, you know, ate his children and shit. You know, that's another aspect of the Saturnian chronos sacrifice, practice, and belief. You know what I'm saying? That's involved in that. You see? And you go down, you see the, the demons of Solomon. You see? The demons of Solomon. I don't know if these names, if these authors or are these demons. They might be both. It might be the author and the demon. The demon might be, you know, you know, disguised as the author. Now, see, now when you look to the right, let me blow that up. Matter of fact, I don't know if y'all, matter of fact, did y'all see the blood libel? Okay, so that's the blood libel and you, you know, they, they got the child and, and quartered up and shit and they supposedly, you know, you know, you know, bleeding, you know, bleeding dry. And they got a pan down there, you see where they, and they take the blood and shit and they put, supposedly mix it. And I'm going to just leave it there, you know, with bread and shit and during Passover and honor. You know what I'm saying? And so the, that's chronos. You see, all the way. That's chronos attribute. You know, and you see it with Hayrod, with Jesus. You see, he, you know, emphasized looking for the Messiah. And he, you know, he committed emphasize on, uh, emphasize on all the young boys of, of Israel that was uh, uh, less than two years old. And so when you look at, and I showed y'all this one, the, the demons of Solomon and shit. So now you got El, this one of them say El Shahai. Now the other, and some other ones say, and you see the, he, the Hebrew. Now one of them look like Moses and with the horns, but they attempt to put Solomon in the same, you know, I see this, the seal here too. You know, and now they try to say it's Solomon, you know, and, and but both Solomon and seem to me that they portray Solomon and uh, Moses with the horn. And so here's the image of, 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 of Solomon commanding, and you see somebody back there with horn. You see what I'm saying? And you see the, you know, you see the devil show up. You see what I'm saying? Show up, he'd have been commanded. It. And so Solomon had control. And so this is the root of Kabbalism. You know, this is the root of the conjuring and, and shit. You know, and so Solomon is looked at as the high priest of the Kabbalah, the, the practice of the demonology and the conjuring, you see? And some, some say Moses too, okay? So when you go inside of it, when you go inside of it, let me see, that's about it. You see right there, you see, you know, see the pentagram, and inside that one, you see Elohim. And see, once you understand El and Saturn, see, you got to know them now. You see? And so I looked and you, you know, and they got the little sigils and shit, you know, and you can either, you know, some motherfuckers was, you know, copying that shit and blowing it up and, you know what I'm saying? You know? And it's some, it's some, uh, some shit you got to say. And they tell you and some of them motherfuckers what to say. And I wasn't there even, you know. And so, you know, conjuration. Uh, uh, and they got Elazar and shit. Dismissal of Elazar. So you conjure the motherfucker, then you dismiss it. You see? Citation of uh, uh, Quirmillum uh, uh, or Leviathan. You know what I'm saying? Symbol of the crown serpent. You see? You know, what was that? Okay, then you got one here. Circle written on parchment, blood of white doves and shit. 
you know, I don't know, some of them, you know, Orions, and, you know, they got some crazy-ass names in there, you know, if you want to take it to the level where you, you see L there, at the top, see Elohim, you see, L is there, and anytime you see L, you see Saturn, you see the same God, you know, you see it's the same God, and that's why, they, that's what connect Santa to, uh, to Saturn and Pan because of the L. You see, the, the goat ears, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, Azalus, okay? Seal of character for coercion and obedience. Damn, you see? And so this the one I got. Man, they wanted $300 for that motherfucker. I say, damn, I got, matter of fact, I might got both of them. You know, I might got both of them. And so here it is, the, the 16th formula of the magical Kabbalah and magical art. This right here, and then right there, it got at the bottom, Clavicle color of Solomon, the king of, of, of Israel. You see? And so, you know, when it, you know, what it boils down to is that these are their holy book. Okay, these are their holy book. I'm going I'm to show you some of the things that the, just to show you what they think about you. Now, this is a Jew. Rabbi Harry Walton, 1939. Now, this is just to show you, Judaism is communism internationalism, the universal brotherhood of man, the emancipation of working class in the human society. It is with these spiritual weapons that the Jews will conquer the world and the human race. So, you know, they say they're using it because you thinking it's really about brotherhood. Is that Now, when he said that com Judaism is communist, how do we, and I just went over, if you was in the last class, you would have seen when I did, you know, the Jewish worship of Vulcan and, and Saturn, you will see that Vulcan is with the, with the hammer. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and which is the, you know, the Advil. He lives inside the, the, uh, the uh, volcano. And that's symbolic of, of, you know, steel workers and, you know, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And, and also you see uh, the worship of Saturn with the sickle, which... The two combined makes the symbol of communism. The hammer of Vulcan and the sickle of Saturn. And you see that the founder of, uh, 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 of communism is Karl Marx, a Jew. His, his gra grandfather was a rabbi. You see? His grandfather was a rabbi. And we see even on, on Star Trek with... Uh, uh, Spock being a Vulcan. And you see he got the gold ears of pain. You see? Got the gold ears of pain. Got the gold ears of pain. So you so when he say right there, Judaism is communism. Okay. Okay. See? We working today. Putting that heavy work in. Now this is the same rabbi, Sephardic chief rabbi. Of Israel, the Sephardic rabbi. Non Jews exist to serve Jews. Okay? Goyim were born only to serve us. Without that, they have no place in the world. Only to serve the people of Israel. Okay, now he called black people monkeys. You see what I'm saying? He called us monkeys. So you already know what he, you know, how his mind move. You see? Wait a minute. Let me get down here to some of this shit that they say. So this is coming out the tab mood. I just went into Kabbalah to show you some things. Now we're going to go into some of the things that the, you know, these so-called Jews believe. And so you can see the to totalitarianism. Totalitarianism. You see? Menachem Bay. Okay? Used to be uh, uh, the head, the, the president of, of Israel. I don't know if they call him the president prime minister of Israel, he might be prime minister. Listen what he said. Our race is the master race. 
We are divine gods on this planet. We are as different from the inferior races as they are from insects. Damn. Other races are beasts and animals, cattle, cattle at best. Our destiny is to rule over the inferior races. The masses will lick our feet and serve us as slaves. See, this is what the town move teach them. You see? So when you're talking about the Holy Bible, Oh, draconianism, Saturnism, chronosism. You see what I'm saying? It is the Talmud. It's the primary book for total totalitarianism. You see what I'm saying? You got to hear what these people are saying. Listen, Henry Kissinger, he used to be the, uh, the Secretary of State, I believe under, uh, I don't know if it was under Carter, for one of them motherfuckers. It's not a matter of what is true that counts, but a matter of what is perceived to be true. You see, it doesn't, it, it's not a matter of what is true that counts. So motherfuckers can go over all that shit about we, you know, the black in the Bible and shit, that, 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 but a matter of what is perceived to be true. You see, and so the fact that they perceive themselves to be Jews and they can enforce it, you understand what I'm saying? You can scream all day about the birds. And, you know, you're going to have to deal with them how they're trying to deal with you. You see what I'm saying? Now, what this motherfucker said. Listen to this. This is a Jew now. Harold Wallace Rosenthal. Rosenthal. Most Jews do not like to admit it, but our God is Lucifer, and we are his chosen people. <laughs> and you can look it up. Any of this, you can look it up and go right to the source, family. You see? And so we're looking at their holy book. Let me see what, is this one right here? Yep. Listen what it said. The Jewish Talmud not the Torah Old Testament teaches, listen, that all that non-Jews are to be exterminated. And it gives the uh the exact where well, you can go get it. Uh Yaba Moth, Yaba Moth, 98A, all Gentile children are animals. You hear that? And then it said, uh, uh, it wrote minor tra tra tractatis, tractatis, sulfur room 15, rule 10. Even the best of the Gentiles should all be killed. Damn, this is right in their book, y'all. That mean, you know, and so that's in their book. And so, you know, I want y'all to understand. No, that's the Talmud. We ain't got nothing to do with the Talmud. Nothing. Nothing at all. Our sacred writings is in Africa. We don't have to usurp no other motherfucking teachers. You see what I'm saying? You know, we don't have to usurp another motherfucking teacher. But, you know, I'm just putting it out there. You see that? That's Abu Simba. We don't need the Talmud. We don't need the Old Testament. We don't need, I use that for babies. You understand what I'm saying? I use that shit for babies. You know, you stuck in the Bible, you stuck, you know, you need a, you need a pacifier, nigga, to get your ass on this side of the truth. You understand what I'm saying? What the hell we need with the Talmud, Kabbalah, and you got the most sacred writings in all, all the planets. In all the universe, we got to go, but we got to understand, uh, you know, when we're talking about power, that's where we lose. You understand what I'm saying? Because, yes, we got spiritual teaching, but we need teachers that's going to put us in power. We need some up, you know, we need to add something along. You know, they got the Talmud and all that, you know, and the Talmud to make the 48 laws of power look like a coloring book. 
That's a fucking, the 48 laws of power is like a fucking coloring book. You see what I'm saying? And so that's what we need. We got to quit being so spiritual that we don't want no goddamn power. You understand what I'm saying? That spirituality to obtain power. And I'm going to leave it out again because I'm coming back. We just beginning and I'm going to be black tomorrow. When you understand power, power is always obtained by force. You don't ask no motherfucker for no power. You don't do that. Power is always exchanged by force. You understand what I'm saying? And if a motherfucker gives you some power, it's an illusion. He trying to fool your motherfucking ass. You know, he trying to pacify you with, with your concept of power. Give you a little bit. Send your niggas with some stimulus package, packages and shit. And just that. You ain't got no power. Anytime you could take a, a nigga like Kanye, say he a billionaire. They had his ass up there at the top and they snatched his ass down. And now the nigga probably got a few more dollars than me. You see what I'm saying? He still got it, but they snatched him down. You see what I'm saying? That's power. I make the money. I don't give a fuck how much you can count. I'm, I roll this shit off the press. You understand what I'm saying? The motherfucker, you ain't got no power. You know, when you talk about money, the motherfucker with the money ain't got the power. The motherfucker that got the machine that roll that shit off, and motherfuckers be, and when that shit come off, he can dictate that this shit is worth something. And the world believing he the one with power, not the motherfucker with the money. That ain't shit. I roll this shit off of here, homeboy. I roll as much of this shit off as I want. You see what I'm saying? I can go in the motherfucker, motherfucker, and you know, and just boo, motherfucker. I'm a trillionaire, nigga. What? I don't need the money. See, it's some niggas that got money, and they had to go. You know, some of the motherfuckers just man, man, give me a billion. Boop, 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 boop. You understand what I'm saying? Here you go. You understand what I'm saying? That's how they doing this shit. But that's see, and I'm that's going uh, in further. But when you're going into that totalitarianism, see, that's where they try. When we talk about the cube, and I'm gonna get into the cube. It's some facets because we know that a cube got six faces. You see what I'm saying? And so you got to think of them six faces in the cube symbolically mean. You know, a cage, a containment, a cell. What elements of society, six faces of society that can lock this motherfucker in? You know what I'm saying? You know, that can lock this motherfucker in. And we know that it's going to emanate from that satellite. You see, all the facets of the, the cube that's going to planetary containment. In, uh, in planetary imprisonment, the cube, it's a cell. It's a cage. You understand? And it's black because we know that black absorbs everything. So it is locked on the inside. There's no nothing that can penetrate outside of that black cube. Nothing. Can, and so if, if they, if, if they, you know, and, I, and I'm going to show you how they trying. They ain't close. They trying to close it. You see, they trying to close all, all the sides. You see, they trying to close all the sides, you know. And once they close it, if they can close it, you know, and they lock, it's a wrap. You see, it's a wrap. And I'm going to, and I'm going to, and I'm going to talk, we're going to talk about some of them six and they got more than one cube. You understand? One cube don't lock a motherfucker in. You know, and one of them aspects is the money. You understand what I'm saying? Because when they digitize that shit, see, if you got cash right now, yeah, they still control that. You understand what I'm saying? But some motherfuckers could take that shit and put it in the ground, hide that shit somewhere. You know, make underground, you know, and make deals behind the scene. But once they take that money out of there and that shit is all digital. They're going to be able to, and that's going to be one of the faces on them. So they're going to they're gonna be able to lock your shit down immediately. Then they're going to put that chip on your motherfucking ass where all your, you know, that's going to be another face. You know what I'm saying? Where they, everything going to be, and you ain't going to be able to do shit. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have all your file and, 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 that, and them, them cameras up there. Nigga going to be able to spot you and automatically, just like on the big, 
on the movies. Do, 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 do. All your information gonna come up. Who you is, you know, what you didn't done. Boo, 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 boo. You know what I'm saying? That's a, and so it's the satellites, is the is the digital money, is the cameras out there, and, and all of that shit. And once they get you in to where nigga, you know, and they gonna cl they gonna close that motherfucking cube on your ass. You understand what I'm saying? They gonna close that motherfucker. And like I say, the black cube represent, you know, that, you know, nothing can penetrate. It uh, The black absorb everything. So if the cube is black and you on the inside, when that bitch shut, ain't nothing coming out of that. Ain't nothing coming out of that. You feel me? You better wake the fuck up. See, the symbolism, don't get caught. They're using iconic symbols, you know, as a blueprint to bring about what they what they trying to achieve. You understand what I'm saying? And they trying to achieve some wicked shit. Believe that. You understand? They talking about taking damn near 80 percent of the motherfuckers on this planet off of here. You see, that's why they removed that damn that damn uh them damn stones down there in Georgia. They had that, you know, a perpetual at 500 million. You know what I'm saying? That somebody we put a warning sign out there like, yeah, we need to keep the plant at 500 million. Well, goddamn, that's eight. It's, it's, it's damn near nine billion people on the planet. Goddamn. You know, you trying to take motherfuckers out of here on a global. That's Kronos. That's Saturn. You see what I'm saying? Wake up, family. I'll be black tomorrow with some more powerful information. We are standing on. Thank you for being here today. This is General Sarasu and Seti saying. Hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily. Go do your ass some research. You see? Arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily. Liberation through African education and confrontation. Black power.